Sine wave motion is one of the most distinctive features of ITF Taekwondo, but it's a very misunderstood concept. So I'm going to produce a whole series of videos explaining the scientific principles of sine wave motion and the benefits it provides. An example of sine wave motion can be observed when performing a taekwondo technique using natural knee spring. As you can see, the body moves up and down in a smooth wavy fashion. But why do we call this sine wave motion? Well, a sine wave is a mathematical curve representing an oscillation of constant amplitude as given by a sine function. It's not necessary to understand the mathematics of a sine wave in order to understand sine wave motion, but I'll explain it briefly for those of you who are mathematically minded. Sine is a trigonometric function, which is the ratio of the length of the opposite of a right angle triangle to the length of the hypotenuse. When the angle of the right angle triangle changes, the value of sine changes. If we keep the hypotenuse the same size and go through all the angles through 360 degrees, it forms a perfect circle. If we plot a graph of the value of sine over all these angles, we will get a perfect sine wave. The important thing to notice about a sine wave is that it has a natural sway. It is the epitome of smoothness. But sine wave motion in Taekwondo is not an exact sine wave, but it is smooth like a sine wave. In this example, you can see that the change of direction up and down is done smoothly rather than in a jerky way. And this is because natural knee spring is being used. But sine wave motion is not only about moving up and down using knee spring. When performing most hand techniques, your arms should also move with a natural sway. In this example of a middle block, the arms are moving in a smooth flowing way. If you plot a graph of the horizontal movement with respect to time, you can see how the wave is similar to a sine wave, especially in that it's smooth when changing direction. So to summarize, Taekwondo sine wave motion doesn't have to be an exact sine wave, but it does share an important attribute in that the body or limbs must make a smooth transition when changing direction such as moving the body up and down or moving the arms back and forward. So please check out my next video where I'll show you how the sine wave motion relates to the natural springing action of the joints.